Hello guys, I am super excited to introduce you to the SciSense Business Intelligence Tool, uh, the old's best business intelligence tool according to the Gartner Award from last couple of years. And uh, the SciSense is going up, up the ladder when you compare with other BI tools. So SciSense is competing and it is going really fast. And uh, this is the old's uh, first in-chip memory tool and in-memory. So it uses uh, both the RAM and the CPU cores very efficiently and uh, the SciSense is very best in terms of performance. Uh, even a billion rows of records will be loaded in a couple of minutes and uh, this is the best BI tool and I am going to introduce you to the fullest of it and uh, I am going to teach you the backend, the, uh, the SQL uh, customized scripting, data modeling and uh, the front-end dashboard development and the server administration end-to-end -end. so I'm going to uh, explain you in detail of all the layers I'm going to introduce you to the uh, SciSense Elastic Cube Manager and how to create the data models how to build the uh, uh, relationships between different tables and uh, how to do the joins and how to create the custom expressions all these things I'm going to explain you in detail and uh, I'm going to introduce you to the SciSense uh, dashboard development. Fascinating, you can really create fascinating dashboards in just a couple of clicks and uh, importing the data sets. And uh, uh, you can create all kinds of visualizations in this uh, in a matter of uh, minutes. And uh, it is going to be very intuitive and uh, sessions. And uh, I'm going to explain the advanced as well as the base level. So. Uh, the user who do not have any idea about SQL also can follow through it. I'm, I have created end-to-end -end tutorials from the scratch level of how the SQL joins also works and uh, uh, how the data model building helps you in building great dashboards and uh, different kinds of charts in the front end. So uh, you can create the maps and you can create uh, the sunburst chart, you can create the gauges, you can create the stata chart, everything in detail has been explained in this tutorial and I am going to explain you the administration as well and uh, um, uh, how the elastic cubes runs on different servers, everything can be explained in detail in the course section and uh, once you enroll this you won't feel uh, let down and uh, this is going to be great uh, BI dashboard development and uh, I, I hope you guys will enjoy it. Uh, thanks for attending the session. Hello guys. So I have created the SciSense full length tutorial uh, in Udemy. You can access that and uh, whoever wants to become full length uh, a professional SciSense dashboard developer who, who wants to know all the layers of SciSense, Elastic Cube Manager, the SciSense server console, the SciSense web app, so the full length course is there. You just need to go to the udemy.com and you just need to type the uh, SciSense. Uh, you will get a discounted price. So whatever price is here, it will be uh, less than that when you log in and uh, just create a login with your Gmail or Yahoo mail anything. And uh, this is the only course available in the Udemy which I have created and in detail explanation of all the things has been done so you can see uh, around four hours quality material has been created which is enough uh, to go through so I have explained all the SQL part how the SciSense SQL works and how the ETL transformations happen in SciSense how to convert the data how to create custom fields custom flags how to use the lookup functions, how to do the transformations, how to create um, everything, I mean whatever is needed in the ETL wizard and how to create the dashboard, the bar chart, pie chart and around uh, um, 15 plus various charts which is needed, advanced gaze charts, advanced everything, the filters, how the filters works and uh, how the importing and exporting the data, how to save the files, how to create the ECQ, EC data files, everything is explained in detail. You can subscribe to this and uh, have a great learning. Okay, thank you.